All right, everybody. I am back scrapping today in my yard, of course. So I'm going to start picking up some of the stuff that I've got already. Get it into my shop so I can strip it down. It's not that big copper like my buddy Jimbo Scrapper's got, but it's that big aluminum. And uh, I found a spot outside of the scrap yard they said he'd buy this stuff <clears throat> so uh i'm gonna start cutting it up and getting it stripped out it's a local place not sure exactly what it, they're making but they're making stuff out of it Whew. so if they're gonna give me even if it's a nickel more i'll take it so I want to get it in there, get it stripped out, find out where I'm at with this new guy. So eventually there'll be a video coming out soon of me selling this aluminum to a local guy and see what kind of money he's talking about. So I'm kind of excited about that. He actually happened to see my truck down at the store and said, hey, you ever get much aluminum? He likes uh, this type of aluminum. He wants extruded aluminum, cast aluminum, and any kind of copper. Any any type of copper wire, he'd say that doesn't even matter to him whether it's got wire on it or it don't. He'll take it all away. So I've got a lot of aluminum stuff here I'd like to go ahead and get rid of. And since it's rainy today, I'm gonna take my little butt right inside of my Connex box and start stripping some of this stuff out get rid of it I mean I got a I got a shop coming in two months I need to be ready and I've been working my butt off on my other channel so if I don't get something done out here I'm gonna have a building coming in and I'm gonna have a bunch of scrap metal out here in his way I don't want that So I still have to get my scrapping done, even though I'm working on my other channel. Pretty much makes me working seven days a week right now, is what that happens to be. Seven days a week. But I'll be honest with you, I don't mind it. If there was eight days in a week, I'd probably work eight days. Don't bother me a bit. I've worked, I've worked all my life since I was just a little boy in primary school I would get out from school I get off the school bus mom would be sitting there waiting for me she picked me up and wherever dad was working that day she, that's where she'd bring me sometimes it was out in the woods sometimes it was at somebody's house doing mechanic work sometimes it was at our house we just stayed and did mechanic work Dad did a lot of mechanics and tree cutting. He cut firewood, man. I cut so much firewood. I'm probably, I would say, I'm probably one of the best, and I don't even know who you know. I'm probably one of the best wood splitters there is when it comes to splitting wood. Let me tell you something, that's something I, that's an art form. If you've ever split wood, there's an art to it. You don't just slam that axe down into that hole into that uh log man you got to have a little twist to it when you hit it a little twist keep the axe from sticking all kinds of tricks when you're cutting wood people don't know about i've done a bunch of it i used to get off of school bus get in the car go with mom she'd bring me down to wherever dad was working I'd, I was the loader. I loaded the truck. He'd been cutting with a saw all day. I would load the truck. Had a big two-ton. Stuff's going to have to be straightened up before it goes through. I would load up the truck. Would bring it to the house. And then after we brought it to the house, I had to unload it. And after I got it unloaded, it had to be split and put into its own piles and we stacked it one cord at a time 
one quarter at a time because we sold firewood by the cord. I'm kind of excited to see how my wire strip is going to take that Jimbo scrapper. He's my buddy. He's got basically the same strip as I got and he's doing copper so I'm sure this aluminum will go through there just fine. I watched one of his videos the other day. He had to run it through about three times but boy after he did. Alright I got a mess going on. Oh, tangle entanglement. Sir, I gotta get rid of some of this wire. Too much. Too much. Plus, I got a lot of weight of it. It's five cents a pound. I'm what I'm expecting to get for it stripped. I think I got 40 cents the other day at the scrap yard. With the casing on it, all the plastic. Take that plastic off, see what I can get for it. I'm gonna run all this right into my storage building. Fire me up a Budweiser, maybe, I don't know. You know, tell me what I might do. That's a good little bucket. I got a whole bunch of it. Lord have mercy. Lots. Oh! I still got quite the yard, I'm telling you. As you can see. I got lots of work to do. Semi-retired guys, I I really thought that 58 was gonna be it for me. But sometimes you don't realize how much bills you're gonna have when you think about retirement. Better make sure you got plenty of money. And I do, but I wanna be able to also build my building. I have a building right there, man. Twenty some thousand dollars. I want to make sure that after I spend that twenty grand, I'm not broke. So I figured I'd come out and make a few bucks, quick bucks. On my other channel. Plus, I don't know if everybody knows, but my other channel does have twenty six thousand subscribers. Thank you, Lord. I've been blessed on that channel for a while now. And I enjoy making videos, so here we go. Unknown color. Yeah. Oh, must have hung up. Unknown, they hung up. Before I could even get to them. Boy, I tell you what, these things right here are lifesavers when it comes to cutting big stuff. I like to cut my stuff down to two feet. I don't like running this heavy stuff through my stripper 10 feet at a time. Only because it just seems to be a lot harder for me. If I cut them down into a foot or two feet, you can run through there like a charm. Stick them right in a five gallon bucket. But, uh, I know it's pretty boring, right? Watching me cut wire. Running my mouth. Sorry about that. I'm just kind of excited to be out here doing this, to be honest with you. If you notice, it's been about three weeks. Put a few videos out here and there, but it's been about three weeks since I've actually been able to do much scrapping. And we did left handed pull, and I did two runs yesterday. Well, take that back. I did one run while he was working on my other channel. Then I went back and got him and went and picked up another run and did another one, so that's what I did with Lefty. Left-handed Paul. He works for me on both of my channels. My other channel, you can go back 10, 11 years. 13 years, I think, actually. I wasn't too good at making videos back then, plus the cameras weren't that great either. Heavy rain has been detected near my location. I better get this stuff cut up and get in the garage quick. Heavy rain, I just got the warning. I just 
just want to get in my Conex box before this happens. Strip all that goodness. Goodness. Look at that all. I mean, it's aluminum. It's not copper, but by God, it's... It's going to be some number ones. Aluminum. There, baby. That was quite a. That was quite a big little scrap. A big heavy aluminum. I probably got some more of it laying around here. But heavy rain detected in the area. I'm getting my butt in the Connex box. Man, I got some good stuff out here. Lord have mercy. All right, my butt needs to go to work. Let's get out of this before it starts raining on me or something. Ooh. It's coming. It's heavy. stuff out in your shed right here. Stupid. Yeah. Good stuff right there, brother. Might not be copper, but right out here. Crash and cash. Like I said, I hope to find out. I haven't sold it to the new buyer yet. But I do have a new buyer, supposedly, that wants, they're making stuff. So they want the best aluminum, the best copper, whatever, any kind of copper, but aluminum. They want extruded, even ladders they're calling extruded. Or as a scrapyard, quit calling my regular ladders extruded. Not heavy enough for them. Oh, that's coming out pretty right there. If you want to see somebody do the same size wire, but it be copper, you want to go see Jimbo. Jimbo Scrapper. That guy's got a nice setup. 
He gets a lot of good copper. His father-in-law is in the air conditioning business. Lucky some biscuit. He gets all of his air conditioning units. So if you want to go see somebody take something apart, you want to go see Jimbo. Matter of fact, I think he's got a copper giveaway video coming out soon. I think it's when he hits 700, he's giving away a bunch of copper. Gonna mail it right to you. I like old Jimbo. Laid back country boys, what he reminds me of. Uh, man, pretty, pretty stuff. I wish you was copper. Beggars can't be choosers, baby. It's free. Uh oh, comes that rain. Oh yeah. It's raining, it's pouring. Oh man, it's snoring. I have a couple pieces of copper out here, just big, but for the most part, I got in here just in time. My God, that gum weather's coming. Twice cut both sides, thing just pops out. Boop. Trash. Cash. I bought this strip on Amazon. I need to get myself an affiliate link. I had one at one time, but I got sick. I wasn't making videos for about a year, maybe two. So if you don't sell anything on the affiliate link, eventually they'll just get rid of it, I guess. I don't know what happened, but I got to re-sign up. There was a time when I didn't make any videos for any channel at all. I was too bad of shape, unfortunately. But I feel blessed to be able to stand here doing what I'm doing, everybody. So, God has blessed me. I hope He blesses you. He blesses everybody in a different way. God is a blessing. Too. I mean, the plastic doesn't weigh that much, so. Anyway, I did bring some in yesterday of this with a coating on it. it. Gave me 40 cents a pound. I thought to myself, as easy as this stuff is, and I only did that, to be honest with you, so I could get a price for that other guy in case I ever did give him some of this with the coating on it, which I never will, now that it's just so easy. Um, but I wanted to get an idea of the prices. Now I know, I will be stripping my stuff. They gave me 70 cents a pound for my aluminum rims yesterday. 70 cents a pound. Got them out of my honey hole. Now, you, now now you can see why I cut this down to little short pieces. For me, it works so much easier. And I can throw that right into a five gallon bucket. Uh-oh. Got out of track. Get out of there. Got out of track. 
make sure you run that thing down the track. started that straight. You gotta stick that thing in there straight, man. Alright, anyway. That's a nice piece of aluminum right there. <whistles> nice piece of aluminum. I'll try to straighten them out a little bit before I put them in anyway. Look at that. Opens it right up for you. Probably do it a little bit less pressure. If I wanted to, I don't know. Save my blade. Let's see what happens there. Oh yeah, a little less pressure doesn't hurt. Really don't see. See where my blade just touches it. You want to save your blade though. Because you will have to replace them eventually. Oh yeah. You will have to replace that blade eventually. So far, for me, so good. I haven't had to replace it yet. Two different size wires over here. This machine was the best thing I ever bought. Can you imagine trying to strip this stuff? No way. Ain't no way, Jose. All right, everybody, real quick, I'm gonna tell a quick story. I'm not gonna tell it all, just a quick one. 15 years old, moved from Mount Airy, North Carolina to here. I went to um, Gentry, Sam Gentry Middle School, and I was only in the eighth grade. We traveled too damn much in my lifetime that I failed two grades for lack of having enough days gone. <coughs> so by the time I was 15, I just finished the eighth grade. Moved here right after graduating. Stayed here for a little while. Didn't like it, it was just me, my dad, and my stepmom. My grandmother was coming to visit. I called my cousin and said, hey, Grammy's coming to visit. And I told them that I was going to, because I wasn't happy here, I was gonna follow the Greyhound bus back to Maine because I bought a car. I had bought myself a car and I had my license and everything when I turned 16. But I wanted to uh, get the hell out of here and I didn't know how to do it. So I was going to follow a Greyhound bus to Maine. Anyways, my dad found out about it, what I was going to do. And uh, he called me aside one day and said, son, I hear you're not happy. You want to, uh, you're going to follow Grammy's Greyhound back to Maine with your car. And then I thought I was going to be in trouble. He's going to take my car and all kinds of other trouble would come up. But anyway, he said, well, Grammy doesn't feel that good, and she really doesn't want to ride that bus back. So, how about you drive her back? Biggest surprise of my life. I never expected that out of my dad. I was like, man, yeah, great, awesome. So, I did. We left. I drove my grandmother back. I couldn't have told you how to get there. So, drove my grandmother back to Maine. She wasn't feeling good. She was old still at that time already. And, uh, got to Maine, moved in with my mom a couple months. Got my work permit, started my job at Nike Shoe. Of course, I didn't have a vehicle, so I walked to work every day. My starting pay was $2.95 an hour. $2.95 an hour, starting pay. Um, worked my way up through the place, better jobs, better this, better that. Finally got myself a car. Worked at Nike Shoe for five years until they sold out and went overseas to Japan. What? The story in between all that was when I turned 16 and got my job at uh, Nike, I went 
from my mother's house to my uh, second oldest sister's house. And we just started sharing bills, you know, like I pay half the bill, she pay half the bill. So we rented together. And then after I worked at Nike for a little while, uh, I would rather have had my own place. So I went out and find a, found a little apartment building. And it was only $35 a week, but it was like an efficiency. But it was mine. I lived in that efficiency for quite some time. Moved, in, moved into a couple different places throughout the course of five years, working at Nike Shoe and living by myself. But I literally have lived on my own since I was 16. Never moved back to my parents' house for more than about 30 days. Just long enough for me to get myself straight and move the heck back out. So, anyway, quick. that was a real quick story, obviously, of the whole whole back deal. I've been living on my own since I was 16. Taking care of myself. 16 years old. Can you imagine a 16 year old today having their own apartment, actually working for us? See, I worked. That's the thing. I didn't know nobody gave me anything. I had to work. And I had to pay my own bills. And if you don't pay your bills, you don't have a place to live. So, my landlord was the kind of guy that showed up at your house you just picked it up so i never was late that was for sure and i had no reason to be anyway i worked 40 hours a week at nike shoe before before i left nike shoe i was making nine dollars and 27 cents an hour man i was i felt like the big dog i mean minimum wage was still only like four dollars i was making double minimum Big dog. Living by myself, I thought I was a big dog. Are you kidding me? Every girl in the neighborhood wanted to come to my house. And they did. Uh, needless to say, scrapping with grandpa. Had one hell of a lifestyle. Or a life when I was growing up. Imagine, 16 years old, your own apartment, and you can have anybody come over there you want to. Uh, I was fairly busy, had lots of company. Lots of company. Best stereo system. My neighbors hated my stereo. Because I could afford it. I mean, I didn't spend any money. I didn't go out by spending all my money on the junk. And I had all the best stuff. The nicest cars. I was 16. Listen, I was 15 when I bought my first car. When I was 16, I was driving a 63 and a half Ford Galaxy. That thing was beautiful. I'm gonna finish out this wire. My question is, how old were you when you moved out of your parents' house? Or how old were your kids when they moved out of your house? I'm just wondering what the answers are to them. A couple questions. And uh, I'm curious to what my subscribers are gonna tell me. How old were you, first of all, when you moved out of your parents' house? And if you had kids, how old were they when they moved out of your house? Get out there. Got some 
some weight to it, too. Love it. After I get this stripped out, if I have more out there, see if I can find more. If I can find some heavy copper, I'll go ahead and strip a little heavy copper. But either way, I'm not going out that side today. I'm going to hang out right in here inside my comic box. It's not beautiful out there. I am actually waiting on a phone call, though. I mean, left hand call and I've been working on that mobile home over there on the other channel. Guru's roofing and home repair. Like I say, my initial, my goal is retirement. So I thought maybe I could just do it all at once and just say, hell with it, I'm done. And subcontract out some of my work. But I found out how much money I was losing by not doing at least some of it. So, I decided the jobs that I like doing, I'm just going to keep doing them. And, well, I, I can't say I decided that. My body decided that uh, I could probably go back to work a little bit and do a few things. <laughs> Me, like you, and probably three quarters of America have health issues, obviously. Or three quarters of the freaking world. My health issues have slowed me down, but after five years of dealing with it and fixing it and working on it, blah, 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 I really feel better than. Right now, I feel better than I did five years ago. Or I should even say for the past five years. So I feel blessed again. Blessed, thank you, Lord. I've been through hell, just like probably a lot of you people out there have been through hell. Still going through it. I wish you all the luck in the world. Health problems are a bitch. I'm a lot. But, like I said, I've been blessed. I feel better than I ever have. Five years. I'm going to keep on scrapping because it's what I love to do. Just not going to be able to do quite as much of it. Well, I mean, I can. Just when I get a good job on that I like, and since I'm able, I'll we'll make that big money. And I know one thing, this year, because I didn't work for nine months, I made a lot less money I made last year. And I don't know about you, but I like money. Come on. I love money. Show me the money. It's boring, right? Sorry. This is just uh, one of them boring things to do, to be honest with you. Stripping, stripping, stripping. Unless you just feel like listening to me run my mouth, it's pretty damn boring, sorry. I definitely have a tendency to run my mouth. My wife said, man, how do you do it? You just walk up somebody you never even met, start a conversation. How about you guys? Anybody out there that can just walk up to somebody they never met before or somebody makes a comment to them and they could have a full hour conversation before it's over with, that's me. It drives my wife crazy. It's just my personality. I've always been and the guy that if you talk to me, I'm going to talk back. You got something to say, I'm going to probably got something to say too. Plus, it's fun to get to know people. You can see somebody every day and never know them. Every day, you never know them. So crazy, but so truthful. Every day. You know why 
idea who that person is. Sometimes a little conversation will change that. You see them every day, you don't mean much. But if you conversate, good possibility. At least you're gonna know what they tell you about them. At least you're gonna know that. Now I'm really just running my mouth. Won't be long, I'll be calling this guy up and saying, hey, I got some, I'm just gonna give me for it. Of course, a woman at 55 cents a pound. Takes 100 pounds to make 50 bucks. You're getting it like this, though. Make $50 pretty quick. And I feel like I've got someone near about that amount in there. Come on, get off of there. Loosen it up, try to save my blade. You gotta run through a little bit more. I think I'm getting to my smaller wire about the chain size is here. Okay, more big stuff. Small, small. Change in size. Change in size.